What's the overdrop? It's, like you're it's getting very much fruity. The flavor. Let's get this roast to cook it. Reading. Reading? Have you ever been read? Are you kidding? I'll like this, 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 and then I turn around for a second. And then when I know the words, I'm and then back. You're done, you're back. Yeah. And that's the problem. It means you haven't done, you haven't done your job. <laughs> it is the problem. Girl, I don't know the words to my own <laughs> song. There. there was a lot of hot gluing, but listen, you could not even tell that there was hot gluing involved, right? Well, if you're gonna say you, uh, if you're gonna give me that look, honey, then you better look at what you wore, honey. <laughs> I won the challenge. <laughs> We're in the industry of selling illusion and fantasy. Yeah. You, you, do you know what I'm saying? Illusion uh, and I fantasy. I know what you're saying. Like this. Even if it's not the best. Okay, you didn't have to add that bitch. <laughs> Moving right along, thank you. Even if it's you not know, the best. If it is it's like if you get on there and you show the world what you have to offer, that to me is the best situation. And you can win or not win, you know. I mean, you can win and not have shown your best work. But um, but a lot of the time, <laughs> you know, there's- Go on. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here. Trixie. Now, a lot of people clock your makeup, but I totally get it. You know, you're just painting for the back of the room, which makes sense because that's where your audience collects if you remember to lock the door. <laughs> I really look at you right now and I go, wow, that's a lot. But then I just saw a picture of Demi Moore, which I can see the similarities. <laughs> so she must have seen Demi your face <laughs> and said, give me those cheeks where it looks like I'm sucking on a lemon. Mm, mm. Trixie and Katya. Oh, well, I mean, first of all, Trixie makes me look natural. So I appreciate <laughs> that. At uh, this point in your life to go do a drag show and no one have a phone. People are enjoying the moment. Take a minute. Think about that. I would love it. Well, nobody ever enjoys anything at your show anyway, but I just want... <laughs> you deserve that award for having a f Trixie. No! Actually, the last thing that f Trixie was genetics. No! Well, thank you for having me, Miss Trixie Martell. That was written on the card. Oh, I was gonna say. It didn't sound... Con you lost this acting challenge. <laughs> <laughs> now, get ready to lip sync. The question is, are you wearing padding right now? I have a bra on. I'm sorry. I'm sitting in a chair, you whore. <laughs> Zoom in. Shut up. Expose her. This is not RuPaul's best friend, Rice. But on All Stars, it kind of is. Did you have any best friends there? Who's no. your best friend? Well, so is it the best friend, Rice? Well, they all voted for me. Trixie Mattel. Uh, you know what? She is so easy to read. Let's just skip over her. It's fine. It's all good. We don't need to even go there. It's cool. We're lucky I have makeup on my face. Yeah. Are we? <laughs> I wouldn't say giving earnest compliments is your greatest gift. How very dare you? <laughs> Just today I said how thin you looked, scarily thin, like Mary Kate Olsen. I always feel really cringy when I do my intro in front of people, so. You feel cringy? I don't believe that. You're like, just now? <laughs> now, warning? I'm gonna have to watch Trixie's video when it eventually comes out and see, which means she got a view out of me. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. I love the moments where like, you'd put on like a different color eyelid and act like you did something. Oh, I'm like, did you guys even recognize me when I walked in? They're like, you changed your lip liner. And I'm like, I'm a new person. You can make more money selling shots sometimes. I'm a terrible lip syncer, so I can make people buy alcohol better than I can make them think I'm singing this song. You definitely provided a performance that no one else had seen before in that city. That's a read. Do you guys see that that's a read? Not the Barbie she thinks she is. Well, I hope I'm not talking about myself here, but have you ever had someone in your life who's a horrible singer who's pursuing music? <laughs> but there are people who are so horrible and no one ever just says like, it's not gonna happen for you. 
I'm gonna break your legs off. <laughs> and if you have every color lip liner, you can make any color lipstick work. Anything can happen. Anything. Not to mention with liners, you can totally change the color of a lipstick. You absolutely can. I f***ing <laughs> beat this <laughs> out of you. You know, I thought you were being sincere for the first half of that. Levin is a little bald bitch who is not like other girls. No. And I can relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> you said little bald bitch? No. But I, I think the lip is fine. Excuse me now, one second, please. <laughs> um, <laughs> That is, that lip liner is wet and chunky. Probably one of the biggest disappointments of my life. You what? What are you talking about? When you I first it. lost it, like season seven. Oh, you were never gonna win that though. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, come on. I, I was told that it would be ready today. This does not look ready. For the last about four months, Trixie has been MIA, uh, working on this stupid motel and basically ignoring every other responsibility she has, like working with me. Cause you know when you do highlights, then all of a sudden the deep parts of your eye makeup look deeper? I know. <laughs> I fucking hate it here. I hate this job. I hate this green base. We're lucky to have each other. Oh. <gasps> I... <laughs> I'm, I'm so, I'm so fascinated by the double brow crease action. You know what it kind of looks like? It kind of looks like you're, you're two in two different faces. I have these mental moments of like, I would like to freeze frame this moment. This sure. has made one of the best times I'll ever feel in my life. Have you thought about scrapbooking? <laughs> Stood there like Trixie did and maybe I would have won. <laughs> Miss Trixie. Girl, I am waiting for you to change that lip color because your face looks like the back of a baboon's ass. <laughs> Should I do my nose crooked? I don't know. <laughs> You're supposed to be me, and I would never do that. You're the blueprint. You really are. Oh. Just like going on drag race, doing awful, and then becoming famous after the fact. I'm just like, goals, honestly. Now, you're saying that you're here for the season. Yes, I like it. But are you here for it? Okay. <laughs> we cutting that one too? <laughs> no! Okay. They really keep giving you this job. Girl, that just shows you how bad Bianca and Bob are. See Mattel, she's a fashion doll. She's beautiful. She's the personification of Fupa. <laughs> I hate when people call me Isabel. That's like pet peeve. Really? Yeah, like I wanted to reach over and just choke you. Oh my god. I but you are like... giving like Jeffrey Dahmer today, so I'm kind of scared, so I will be on my best behavior. And I Dogs. wanted I wanted to be known this is after she filmed with Marsha, so <laughs> <laughs> I guess I do wear a little bit more. Well, did you see us force Marsha into makeup? <laughs> what did you think of my symmetry in that video? It was on on par with what I expected. <laughs> apologize, but I want to start with some disclaimers. <laughs> this outfit was the first time I ever felt gorgeous. This, <laughs> but you have, listen, shut up. Okay, this, stop. <laughs> you, bring, you didn't laugh at Katy Perry. Okay, come on. What's she? <laughs> You're like, she didn't bring this, honey. Um. So, drag full time. I worked at an Ulta, I worked at a Sephora. I was a Mac for five Ulta years. Ulta was alive back in the 80s? Oh my God. <laughs> I think you're older than me. I am not. How old are you? I'm 29. I just turned 30 last week, bitch. Okay, so you're older than me, bitch, okay? I don't know if you know how math works, but you're older, honey. Ah! <laughs> Knowingly being a drag and wearing something that's stupid. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> um, Mattel, so pretty. A year ago, she was pretty fat. Oh, oh, it was. I gained some weight. There is just so feminine and fragile, and I don't know, I guess I relate to that. Trixie Mattel. As you call yourself the lifestyle's Barbie, but actually you look like a disgruntled Ken that ate Barbie and put on her wig and costume. <laughs> Give it up, Trixie Toad. This is kind of hard. Do you sew? I forget. Yes, I do. Did you sew that? No. <laughs> Trixie Mattel. Haute couture. More like hot glue. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Oh, you're so ugly. When you came out of your mama, the doctor said, Yikes.